What is up you guys and welcome back to another GR Corolla video. In this video, we are gonna be messing around with the rear diffuser. We're gonna be changing the color on those because I absolutely hate the way this diffuser looks. Honestly, it's a little bit of a letdown for me. If you guys are new here, my name is TJ and I've been building this GR Corolla on the channel for the last year. So if you guys wanna see some more videos on this, check out my channel and make sure you smash the like button on this video. It really helps me out and it's free of charge. Without further ado, we're gonna jump into this video. Let me show you what I got here. We got these Aeroflow Dynamics little stickers and I paid around $15 for this. I don't know if I got ripped off or not. We're about to find out. It seems pretty steep of a price for just a little sticker like this. Anyway, so the point of this sticker is just to lay over this rear diffuser. And you're probably asking, why do you wanna do that? Well, quite frankly, the reason being is I think this rear diffuser is lacking a lot. It's kind of hard to explain what it is. I don't know. Maybe it's the black exhaust tips that should be chrome. I just feel like some kind color is missing. And now that I just blacked these out, because I hated those being red, this thing is so dark that I'm not sure I like the way that it looks. I was trying to think about what to do. I ended up stumbling upon this. So we're going to give this a try. It shouldn't be too hard to install. Let's try to imagine here what this will look like to bring in the white. And I'm pretty sure that these have different colors and stuff. And this isn't a sponsor video, so I'm not trying to sell you anything. I think that these come in like every single color to match your car. Obviously, if your car is black, what are you going to do? Maybe Maybe you could put some red on there actually to match the taillights. I don't know. I have a feeling that this will look a lot better. So I'm not really sure if this is going to be hard or not. I personally have never messed around with vinyl. So that's why I wanted to make a video because it's either going to go really well or it's going to be like trash and I'm going to end up ripping a piece and have bubbles in here. But I ended up buying a little felt squeegee and I got some isopropyl alcohol to clean this off before we get into it. So let's get into it. And we are all jacked up on this Welch's grape ghost drink. This thing is actually pretty good. Let me know in the comments if you guys have drank this and if you have any flavors that you recommend this stuff's actually pretty dang good so for this install i'm going to be using a heat gun afterward so that we can get the vinyl to stick a little bit better kind of says in the directions to do this afterward if you want the glue on the back of the vinyl to kind of activate so we're going to be using this and i'm also going to be using a little attachment here on the edge of it and this should make the air exactly where we want it and we don't melt the bumper and in this kit you notice that they actually give you five different vinyl and there's only four fins on the diffuser. So they must have been thinking of guys like me that are probably gonna mess it up and need the fifth extra one. And before we get started, I just have to say these fins, they're just not aggressive at all. I mean, that's not even like the size of my knuckle. They gotta stick out more. Somebody's gotta make an aftermarket piece for this. So the first thing we're gonna do is take this isopropyl alcohol and we're gonna put it on a little rag and clean this section so that we can make sure that we have a good contact point for adhesion. And we're just gonna go ahead and do the rest of these while we're at it. We're gonna take the tin cutters and open this squeegee up. I've talked about these tin cutters in my last video and why they quickly became my favorite tool that I own. And if you guys don't have a set, pick them up because I promise you, you will never want to own or use scissors again. I have never vinyl wrapped a day in my life, so this is gonna be the first thing that's close enough to vinyl wrapping, but I know that you do need one of these. This is just like a little piece of felt that's wrapped around a piece of plastic so that you can push down and squeegee out the air bubbles. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Now we are gonna peel our first piece of vinyl. The direction says to use soap and water, but I think that it meant that that was one way to do it, an option. I'm gonna try one without that. And honestly, the biggest thing for me is just keeping all of these even. So I don't know how I'm going to do that. Oh, off alignment. Is that good? I don't know. Okay, so I have to make all of them look like that. I wanted to kind of get it to go underneath this a little bit more so that from the top you don't see it. I kind of like it. I'm just going to take this squeegee and just work it up. You know what, this part laid on really nice. It was just that. I gotta get this part up without fucking ripping it though. All right, we gotta lift that up then. Oh, that looks terrible. That almost worked. All right, guys, that's the one mess up. We're gonna do this better. That didn't work. That ruined it for sure. I definitely ruined it. You got one try with that thing. I didn't like it. This is a lot harder than I thought. All right, guys, I totally did that one terribly. So this is try number two with a new piece. And now I am gonna let it roll underneath just a little bit, I think, on the bottom so that you don't see it. 
Okay, and from here, we're gonna make sure that it's freaking really smooth. So we're gonna roll it up because that was my problem last time. That's pretty centered, I would say. Make sure these bubbles are out of here, dude. And we're doing this with no heat. I was gonna apply heat on it afterward. I like how I rolled it underneath though, because when you're looking at it, you don't see the cut off down here. It looks like it's all one piece because it just tucks a little bit. As long as I keep that similar to the other ones, it should look really good. I had a little bubble on the first one up on the top, so I just pretty much destroyed that. So I have to get the other ones right now, but afterward we're gonna apply heat to it. Now let's get this boy over here. Wrapping is a little bit tricky. It's nice though. I like this. It's like a little starter pack for me to learn how to wrap. All right, there's two. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you a little cinematic and a walkthrough, show you what it looks like. So you don't have to try to pause the video. I'm gonna give you better shots at the end and I'll show you what I think about it. This is gonna be piece number three. You kind of just got to give it tension and just push this into it. Pull it towards you and just let the squeegee push it down. That should be good. Like, I feel like in my mind, I need to get these in line perfectly. When you step away from it, you can't even tell. When you step behind it, it looks better if you can't see this line. So I would recommend to tuck that part. For 15 bucks, actually, it's not that bad. That looks pretty decent. So now I'm gonna grab the heat gun so this turns permanent. those edges laid out nice. So that is it. We got these installed on the car and it is the next day. We got some sunlight on here so we can actually see what's going on. Drop in the comments what you guys think. And if you like these decals, these little vinyl stickers, I am not sure what I think about them yet. Honestly, it actually does give the car a completely different look. I love modifications that are like cheaper, small, subtle, but make such a big change. And this really does change the complete rear end of the car as i've said before these diffusers are just very subtle like i wish that they were a little bit more aggressive like this whole diffuser swooped in and these stuck out more and had like a larger fin i don't know why nobody's really coming out with any aftermarket diffusers for this car all there is is the verses that i've seen that's like a whole under tray but these really aren't that aggressive and you kind of lose shape of the car with all the black you can't see like the body lines and stuff so i do think that that adds to the diffuser to, to make you actually notice it a little bit more that there is a diffuser but i really don't know drop in the comments what you guys think if you like this or not i will say that the application was pretty easy i did not use soap or water i used my squeegee and i tried to tuck it underneath if you can see so that you don't see a cutoff line here and it kind of blends in from standing up there are a couple dots in here not really a big deal but i'd probably recommend to clay bar your car first because i think that's just like some tar that's on the car that probably I should have taken off before I did that. And if you're just dropping into this video and haven't seen my last video, I just replaced these brake lights on here. They were reflectors before we put in some brake lights. I went with the smoked black to blend into that gloss black rear diffuser and lower half of the car and wired them into my brake light. So they work as parking lights and brake lights as well. So I'll drop a link to that video too, if you want to see that, but this is pretty nice. I do like it. I'm going to say that for $15, I actually do recommend this at the beginning beginning of this video I kind of was making a joke about them and it was just like a cheap part that I wanted to put on and I really didn't think too much of it and I wasn't all that serious I actually thought that by the end of the video I was probably just gonna rip them off and just say I hate these I don't like them but they kind of grew on me a little bit I don't know like from something that started out as a joke turned out to be something that I don't know if I'm gonna keep or not just gonna give you a tiny walk around of the car and where it's come so far I'm probably gonna end up doing a mods list video soon 
This car probably has, I don't know, I'm probably gonna have to add it up, but I have to have over $5,000 into the car already in mods. It's not that hard to do nowadays since all the new parts that come out are two to three times more money than cars that were back in the early 2000s or 2010. Those cars are a lot cheaper to modify than something brand new. And I get it. The cost of the part to build them nowadays takes a lot more, but this thing's coming together. We will have a mods list video coming out here soon. So that is it for today's video. Make sure that you smash the like button and I'm going to see you guys in the next GR Corolla video. Thanks for watching. Peace.